This show is brought to you in part by Wayne County Community College District, where education shines bright. What's happening in entertainment? From Tinseltown to the Big Apple, this is your weekly entertainment magazine with Greg Dunmore of PulseBeat.tv. Pulse of a new generation, PulseBeat.tv. Hi, and as always, I welcome you to PulseBeat.tv. Greg Dunmore's Hot Happenings, and we're in the heart of Heart Plaza at the Paradise Valley Music Festival. And nothing is hotter or more happening than being in a place that symbolizes the best of what Detroit is about. Paradise Valley has a distinctive background and it's all about connection. So let us connect you to the hottest place in Detroit. Postweek.tv, Greg Dunmore's Hot Happenings at the Paradise Valley Music Festival. Paradise Valley is about saluting those legends prior from Nat King Cole to Duke Ellington to now you're in the so let us know your feelings about being distinctively in Detroit at the Paradise Valley Music Fest. Well, you know that it is an honor. It is an honor because we all stand on the shoulders of everybody. Everybody, there's people that stand on my shoulders, and I've stood on shoulders of people in the past. And to be a part of that whole situation, I think we did it five years. I did it five years ago when he first started out, and and the history, it was an awesome history. The whole situation to me at that time was an awesome awesome thing and, and it, it even means more when I'm invited back. Now when we talk about those legendary names, is there any name that sort of schooled you on becoming the legend that you are now today? Sue, man, I mean through the years when I was a kid, I've been singing since I was 10 years old, I mean professionally since I was 10 years old. Started out in the gospel field of course back in Akron, Ohio. But uh, of course I listened to Stevie Wonder, the Donny Hathaway, and then the, the man to me was Marvin Gaye, of course. And, uh, you know, so, but at an early age, I, I, I really started realizing that the things, the things that made them unique and made them stand out was the fact that they were unique and they stood out. So at that point, when I was 15, 16 years old, I started saying, well, you know, let me take these influences and wrap them all up in one thing and put my whole thing on there. Let me do something or, or, or establish something that makes me stand out as Howard Hewitt. Because I, you, through the years, you always say, you hear cats say, I want to sound like Stevie, I want to sound like Donnie or whatever. I wanted people to say, hey, I want to sound like Howard. And so, you know, at that time I started putting that whole, th whole thing together to become a unique uh, uh, force at that time. Now, as Johnny Washington told me that it's about connections and the scene years ago, even before you were here, even though you started very young, and we talk about the Cotton Club and we talk about the ambiance of the community and the culture, this is, I call it BC, that means before crack and AD is after drugs, but still. Yeah. During the time when show business was something else, the state of show business today, in your opinion, what might be some of the biggest differences that exist in the business today? Well, the thing, we, we were just, uh, Johnny and I were just having a conversation about that this morning. And uh, it is so interesting now, whereas we're, we're back in the day, back in the day it was about, you would hear cats say, you know, uh, I don't want to talk about anything. You know, uh, business-wise, I got a manager, I got an accountant, I got an, an attorney. They talk about, I'm all about creativity. Well, a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of those cats today are, are broke, you know, they don't, because they didn't take care of their business. But now we fast forward to right to now, the way it is today, whereas a lot of it is all about, like they say, the Benjamins, it's all about the money. So now creativity is lacking, you know what I'm saying? So is you got to find some some happy medium somewhere in the middle where you have to realize that 
the reason why you're doing what you're doing is about the music. So you have to like respect that, but you have to take care of your business while you're doing it also and make sure your business is straight, make sure you, you got the people. You're not, you know, those days of like, okay, the accountant can sign off on any check. No, those days are over. You know, I go, I, I know every check that goes out because you know, even if somebody, if it's if with my accountant, I go there once or twice a month and sign them off. So I know what the deal is. So it's important. But, but you know, it, the, the way that thing with social media and everything today and, and, and the way that the, the business is done today, I, I, do, I do credit a lot as far as, like, like I said, we talked earlier today. I credit rappers. The rappers came in and they changed the game as far as financially is concerned because it was about really starting to take care of your business. One of the things that Johnny Washington has underscored that Paradise Valley in this city was about ownership, mm -hmm. about African Americans owning mm -hmm. things. Yeah. Now, we know that you are a man that has done very well in this business, and we, I'm gonna talk to you as the businessman. Mm -hmm. Where are you right now in the business of Howard Hewitt and your wonderful enterprises that you're involved yeah. in globally? Well, you know, I mean, I, I, I always do stuff as far as like uh, uh, within the community, keeping everything, you know, viable and, and open in the community. Uh, it's about ownership. The, the, the uh, last few projects that I've done, I own them. You know, everything that I do from this point on, I own them or a good portion of it, you know, because you, you can't do anything by yourself, in, you know, in this business. So you have, when you have 100% of the pie, then you can give, you have the liberty to give away, you know, certain things for marketing and promotion, maybe for distribution and stuff. You give away a piece of that pie, but always keep the majority of the ownership within your whole situation. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I do, I do very well with that. I do, uh, people have tried to get me into, uh, into promotion, but that's a whole nother animal, man. I, I don't have a stomach for that. I don't, I don't have a stomach for promotion because, I don't like to lose, <laughs> you know, and in order to be a good promoter, you have to lose sometimes. So, right. you know, I don't I don't have the I don't have the stomach for that. But there's a lot of different stuff. They're doing uh, an unsung uh, episode, which is airing um, uh, on the 24th of August on, you? on me. Now, wait, wait, now, who's going to play you? Now, we know who played Mickey, your friend Mickey Howard. <laughs> who's going to play you in the movie version? Uh, in the movie, I don't know. I don't know who's going to play me in the movie version. We've got to figure that out. I, I haven't seen anybody that I, I would trust with that right now. Uh -oh. <laughs> now, the Paradise Valley Music Fest, I'm going to do part one and part two. I want you to tell the audience how they can distinctively support you in a measurable way. And then also let people know why it's important to support Johnny Washington's Paradise Valley Music Fest. Part one and part two. Part one and part two. It's, it's, it's imp uh, as far as, because social media is like serious now. I mean, you can't even, it, it, I, I, I was talking to somebody and, I, and the mentality as far as social media even four or five years ago is way different than it is now. So social media wise, I have the, you know, uh, facebook.com slash Howard Hewitt fan page. And uh, then the Twitter account is just the vocalist. And uh, the Instagram account is Howard underscore Hewitt, you know, and uh, so you can get in touch with me, but it's, but it's, and I have a, uh, the Howard Hewitt.com, uh, the Howard Hewitt.com. But it's important like for history, as far as like to support Johnny in, in this whole thing that he does every year. Every year he does this, puts up his money and, and, and to, to support the legendary acts that have been, you know, important throughout, the, throughout our history. And uh, that's why it's important to, to support it. It's important to get out and support that whole thing. It's, it's, it's here, you know, we, Detroit has so much history. You know, as far as Motown and all that's concerned, musical history and stuff. So, you know, it's like it's important to get out and support it. Ain't no song to live long, if you're always gone too long, any time you're going away. WHPR-TV is now on demand. Catch us when you want, how you want, where you want. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Watch your favorite TV shows on demand. 
and be sure to download the WHPR app. We're now on demand at your demand. WHPRTVDetroitOnDemand.com, a Watkins Broadcasting Company. They said I couldn't dream. Called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. Said a bottle couldn't see the ocean. Give up. Go back to the dumpster. But I didn't listen. I made my way. And now, I am what I've always wanted to be. Mo Better Blues, Jazzy Bistro, downtown Detroit's hot spot. Where live jazz and smooth music is embedded in an atmosphere embellished with great food, great drinks, and city trendsetters. For dining out, social networking, and special events. You won't find a Mo Better place than Mo Better Blues. Mo Better Blues, 546 East Larned in downtown Detroit. Pulse of a new generation. PulseBeat.tv You don't even like the way you got it. You don't like the way you touch your face. You don't even like the way you kiss it. You don't like it at all. Every tear that he made out. I always did that a thousand times. You got it. When you support the spirit of what Johnny Washington is doing and the Paradise Valley mission and all the greatness that now you're part of because you're one of our living legends. Now before we say see you later, there are a lot of guys, they're watching this and they want to be you. There are guys that grew up listening to you and they're looking at you thinking I want to be you. Now as a sex symbol, the guys want to be you, but let them know one of the disadvantages of being a sex symbol. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 one of the things as far as being a sex symbol, the most important thing is not to take, not to believe your own hype. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. That's something for everybody else to acknowledge and everybody else to to revel in or whatever. Once you start believing your own hype, once you start believing, oh, I am a sex symbol. That, that's the that's the beginning of a, a very slippery slope, and then it can go go down very very quickly. Um, but it's important as an artist to know where you are, to know what art, what kind of artist you want to be. I mean, a lot of people go from this this genre of music, and then they go from, to that genre of music, and they put this and that in, in, in their music, that and that. You have to know what you want to do and who you want to be. That's very, very important because on the search of finding that, it's good to search and find out where you. But once you figure it out, you be true to that because if you go here and you go there and you go back there and over here it's like you know you you not only not only stand a chance of losing yourself as an artist your audience as an audience as, as an audience uh, so to speak but you stand a chance of losing yourself as an artist and so you know it's important to stay true to who you are as an artist consistency is definitely good. wow and you know as i think of the word consistency i see johnny washington johnny <laughs> johnny you've been consistent for now some years doing the lot of years Exactly, doing a lot in this community, yeah. not only locally but nationally. Um, how does it feel sitting next to somebody that is my big fan and um, just let us know how you two know each other? Well, we can know each other, man, through, um, I, I met Howard through his music years ago because I was a fan and still is a major fan. Um, I just, you know, uh, and we go back like over 12 years now. And it also, it started when uh, one year I brought him into one of the festivals and, and, ribs and soul. the ribs and soul, <laughs> right, right, uh, which is August 12th, 13th, 14th <laughs> at Art Plaza. Um, but, you know, so, and things just evolved and uh, a friendship developed and, and, and now, 
you know, I'm proud to call him a friend. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he had a record out called Amen when I uh, moved from Detroit that uh, got me through a lot of trials and tribulations. It's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have our second time around. But before we go, there's something I like to say. Everything's not what it seems. There's a stronger force behind the scenes. He's in our lives every day. He's right there when we call. In Him is where my strength lies. I lift my eyes beyond the skies. Only He can save my life. And only I sing it all day This song is my prayer I give to only you I know it can't compare to the gift from you You gave me your love You gave me your son And I was able to share that with him And, uh, and you know, it just evolved into a great friendship now, you didn't hear what he said in terms of the three secrets to success, but I'm going to ask you, as a business person, as a creative person, what do you say are three reasons why this man is so successful? I would say that consistency fits him to a T. Um, his dedication to his craft. You know, here's a man that out of, since he was 10 years old, has only missed one flight in his career. <laughs> you know, do a gig, man. And so that is remarkable. And so that goes to show you when a promoter puts their money on the line and we need a, a solid act and we need acts to show up, and not that that's a big issue, but to know that Howard is going to be there time in and time out, it just means a lot. And distinctly for the theme of the Paradise Valley Music Festival, why did a Howard Hewitt make a good fit when you were selecting your acts for this particular wonderful festival that you're doing? Quality. You know, I, I when I when I you know, and I wanted Howard to be a part of the fifth, you know, because he opened this 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 festival up with us five years ago, and so it was a way to bring him back and and and, and re reminisce on that first annual to our fifth annual, and 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 so when I look at that, and like you said, he's hit the the point of. Uh, legendary status he you know he would be the last person to say that but when you really look at his career it's at that point here's a man years later is still engaged I mean we just left a uh, uh, place earlier today having breakfast and you would have thought uh, you know they just bought your latest CD which they should um, but you know uh, the, it's, it's just a remarkable thing and that becomes that 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 quality that he's preserved for his career now, we call Johnny Washington also Mr. Detroit because he's been such a supporter of the city. Now, Detroit has been going through um, some changes, and we know they say the good, the bad, and the ugly. We talk about the great, the good, the bad, and the ugly. When you think about Detroit, and be honest now, we want to keep it real, what do you think about as an international celebrity when you come into this city? What does Detroit symbolize to you? Detroit symbolizes a, a great history of music as far as, like, as, as, far as from Motown, just throughout the, all the years, you know, Temptations with, you know, Ali Woodson and, and the whole thing. I mean, it, it's, it, it represents a great, great uh, uh, section of our history as far as music is concerned. Plus, it's great people. I mean, no matter what, no matter what you go through, what Detroit goes through, there's, there's still some solid people here, solid people that, that are real and are down for what's happening as far as like you know the country is concerned and you know I, I love coming here I, I have great friends here you know I I couldn't live here you know because I I left Ohio because of the cold I, I was born so I was born and raised in Ohio see I know what the cold's about so well I, I um, you know I, I I left there because it was too cold so but I love coming here visiting in the summertime complete this thought if you miss coming to the Paradise Valley Music Fest 2016, complete the thought. If you miss coming, 
you missed a, a good, good time. You missed some serious jazz, some serious blues, some serious R&B. You missed a good time. You should definitely make sure that you get down here and check it out. 2016 Paradise Alley, Johnny Washington deal. You know, this comes uh, annually once a year. Uh, and it celebrates the history. It, you know, it gives a chance to uh, gives you a chance to support local entrepreneurs, eat great food, international sounds uh, from international recording artists. You know, you know, last night was just incredible with Howard Hewitt, uh, and, and Ronnie Laws just took it over the top to the audience. That if you also supported Johnny Washington and a Howard Hewitt. You stood the test of time and you're still turning that wheel. A special blessing is going to come your way. So we'll see you at the Paradise Valley Music Fest. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know the word, let me mean. I sing it out loud. I sing it. So beautiful. Pulse of a new generation. PulseBeat.tv Mo Better Blues Jazzy Bistro, downtown Detroit's hot spot. Where live jazz and smooth music is embedded in an atmosphere embellished with great food, great drinks, and city trendsetters. For dining out, social networking, and special events. You won't find a Mo Better place than Mo Better Blues. Mo Better Blues. 546 East Larned in downtown Detroit. 107.3 FM WVIE. How would you like for this to be you? Well, it could be. If you have the desire to be an independent radio personality, paying yourself, this is your chance. WVIE 107.3 FM and WHPR 88.1 FM are looking for people with outgoing personalities who can attract sponsors. Launch your career on a radio station with the latest technology and broadcasting. WVIE 107.3 and WHPR 88.1. If you're into talk, R&B, oldies, jazz, gospel, or soca, Radio We Can See is where you need to be. 88.1 FM. WHPR. Have your own radio show. We have block time available. Call 313-868-6612. Radio We Can See. Broadcasting live in the Virgin Islands and Detroit. Comcast Cable 91, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So they say it's a man's world? I don't see anybody's name on it. While well, they were out doing their thing, we slowly changed all that. We changed all that! Today, women can do anything men can do. And there's one thing we're even better at. of a new generation. Pulse Beat. TV. And before we leave you, nothing is hotter or more happening than being in the picture of history. And this is a moment which is being captured for the Democratic National Convention, where there's going to be an acknowledgement of the ancestors of the great ones, Harriet Tubman, Roosevelt, and those people certainly who've set the foundation of greatness for this nation. Rosa Macaulay Parks and her family, the Macaulay family. Wow, now that's a hot happening. Okay, here we go. Everybody's looking at me. We're all smiling. Everybody's happy. Okay, and one, two, three. This is a moment of history, and certainly Rosa Macaulay Parks is smiling from heaven above. Let us know about this moment in history that will be part of the Democratic National Convention. Yes, well, I'm... Uh, Pretty excited that uh, we all are forming a new legacy right here to uh, include in our family history. And I think it's very important that we uh, mark this uh, event. And uh, 
I'm uh, pretty excited. Yeah, that's exciting. Now, let us know exactly. This is going to be a photograph, a video moment. How is this going to be part of the Democratic National Convention? Well, I believe they're going to use the photograph uh, as a backdrop uh, when Hillary Clinton, she's going to uh, come out and talk about some of the women that inspired her and Rosa Parks was one of those women. So that's what we're doing here today. And I was told that also Harriet Tubman is going to be one of the women. As well as uh, Eleanor Roosevelt and Harriet Tubman, yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Three yeah. women who are smiling from heaven above. Right. Yeah, we're really blessed to be together and be able to represent our Aunt Rosa. She would really be happy about this. Fantastic. So when we talk about the state of where we are right now, and certainly we're in perilous times because of what has happened all over the nation and really internationally speaking, um, any special message that you would like to tell our audience? Well, uh, you know, Black Lives Matter, and uh, I think that we need to uh, become more aware and uh, research our history and our culture because I think that's the missing ingredient. I believe that as well, that the missing link is history. So once we get that down, then black lives will really matter. Yeah, and that we really are powerful. We just use our resources and uh, come together and do what we have to do to demand our respect. Something that you want to tell Hillary Clinton? I want to tell her not to forget the little people and not to, uh, you know, once you get in there and you're in that, that rarefied air, I'm pretty sure she's going to make it. When you get in there and you get all that power, don't forget us. Look back at us and give us a hand up so we can do something for our babies. So they'll have it better than we have had it. Fantastic. So therefore, I'm assuming that President Hillary Clinton, and she'll be wearing that title, will be watching this and she's going to be aware of the Macaulay family because of her respect for your aunt and you're telling her don't forget the little people. Right, don't forget us. We, we know we, we are supporting you and we want to be supported in return. We don't want this, um, the, the police to be able to kill us whenever they feel like it. Somebody needs to take a stand against them and tell them to stop. We've been here for what, 500 years minimally, built this country blood, sweat, and tears, and these babies deserve better, better than to be stopped just because they driving while black or walking while black. And one thing that is certainly true, that there's a special blessing because the Macaulay family is gathered together for this moment in history, and we know that your Auntie Rosa is smiling, as I said before, from heaven above. Thank you. Eight, one, two, three. That's great. Pulse of a new generation. Pulse TV.